No way! You can actually see it coming out of the display. That is crazy. Right, so 3D content viewing and gaming has always been as close to the cusp of full mainstream adoption without actually ever fully doing so. I'm sure like me, you've dabbled at some point in the world of 3D without ever perhaps fully being sucked in. Largely probably down to the fact that you always have to wear generally those funky glasses that can often be either expensive or just simply impractical. But this might be about to change because I've partnered with ASUS to take a look at their brand new ProArt StudioBook 16 3D OLED, the world's first glasses-free 3D OLED laptop. And the beautiful thing about it is that you don't have to wear those crazy glasses to make this work. ASUS sent over a pre-production unit a few weeks ago and safe to say it was quite an experience. Bonnie. She's causing absolute terror behind me. I think she just wants to say hello. You're gonna say hello and then go outside for a little run around? Yeah? And you're gonna have to go out. She's just hit the cameraman. So this is what ASUS thinks will be a huge part of the future of 3D content creation. And even though currently the full future of that is slightly unclear, having been hands-on myself, it's hard to disagree that 3D isn't going away. There is something quite awe-inspiring about that extra dimension that 3D content brings, placing you right in the scene. And this true immersion only goes one step further by the fact that you don't have to wear anything that subliminally might break that illusion. And this got me thinking, this could mean quite big things for the average consumer. From immersive games to movies, but also to the more creative design programs and tools and everything in between. The use cases of this tech could, in theory, be pretty endless. So how does it work? Well, ASUS call it spatial vision, and how it works is that there are two cameras on the top bezel that track both of your eyes, and they adjust the screen depending on where you're looking. The geeky description is that they use tiny microscopic lenticular lens filters on top of the screen so that the images really pop off the display. And while it's difficult to portray this in full over video, I can tell you in person it looks class. Now this type of technology isn't necessarily new, but ASUS do have exclusivity over it being used with OLED panels. And having OLED really does help that 3D effect. OLED panels are well documented for providing great viewing angles, richer contrast levels, and just offering a gorgeous picture experience. And this is no different. You also have a 0.2 millisecond response time, which can help to reduce dizziness for you when your left and right eyes are trying to calculate what they're seeing. And you have a 120 hertz refresh rate for a smoother viewing experience, which is actually double what a lot of other kind of standard laptops have on the market. Now, ASUS are quite clear that this 3D concept is not necessarily new, with simulation modeling, watching 3D sports and movies, and gaming, all currently present today. But they do believe there needs to be more, with more creation revolving around 3D technology. They believe this tech could be utilized in the next wave of the metaverse, for things like meetings and friend link-ups, but also more needs to be done on a content creation level. Hence the reason why they've included it in their creator laptop line. Within ASUS's whopping eight model 2023 creator product lineup, there are three main categories. One for the casual creator, one for the prosumer, and one for the professional. And that is where this laptop fits in. This ProArt Studio book, when it comes to market, will have the next-gen Intel CPU, the next-gen NVIDIA GPU, promising to offer superb performance, not just when it comes to content creation, the likes of video and photo editing and design work, etc., but also things like gaming. Now, across the line, some laptops will have 3D technology, some will have 4K, some will have better CPUs, some better GPUs, and they just feel like across the three main categories, they've kind of catered to everybody. This ProArt Studio book has a really cool health feature called Antimicrobial Guard Plus on the metal chassis, which is scientifically proven to help protect against all those nasty bacteria and viruses that can crop up on the parts of the laptop that we utilize the most with our fingers. Dirty hands. Wash your hands, all right? You. I'm talking to you, all right? Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a sink over there. Go on, off you go. 30 seconds. I think that's the going rate, isn't it? <laughs> Not 
sure where we're going with that. Sticky mitts when opening and closing the laptop. And speaking of that, you can actually open the laptop to 180 degrees with this lay flat hinge. Great for meetings with work colleagues and friends, sharing ideas, documents, etc. And also the stepwise design for slimmer bezels and better heat dissipation just gives it that really aggressive look. Grr. <laughs> Wasn't really that aggressive, was it? Grr. <laughs> there are now no buttons on the touchpad, which is 28% larger than before, has stylus support, and the haptic feedback from the clicks feels really nice. Now, this laptop is the only laptop in the world that has Microsoft Protocol 10 built in. So you can use it as a digital drawing pad. And as we're talking about nifty little features, you might have noticed this dial underneath the keyboard and think, what's that? Well, quite simply, it's there as another way of navigating around the machine, whether that be simple things like changing volume, screen brightness, etc., or more complex tasks like scrubbing through video timelines and things like adjusting layers on Photoshop, etc. I can honestly say I haven't evaluated it enough. I haven't played around with it, in all honesty, enough to see whether I would necessarily use it that much in my day-to-day -day life, um, but it's not a nice option to have. On top of this, you have an improved cooling system and all of the ports your hearts can desire. A security lock, two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 2s, headphone jack, SD card slot, two Thunderbolt 4s, and on the back, you have an HDMI 2.1 for up to 8K 60 or 4K 120Hz video playback. You have your power and Ethernet port as well. Lots of other things that we love as well, like Wi-Fi 6E, and just overall, it's a very, very complete, well-rounded laptop outside of its big selling point. But that is the thing that we're here to talk about. When you launch an app that is playing 3D content, the screen automatically adjusts. You see it in real time. It's fascinating. You have a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut and 3.2K resolution. To clarify, when the 3D mode kicks in, this screen kind of splits into half. So the natural resolution drops slightly, um, but when it goes back to 2D again, you go back to that full resolution. A fascinating first look at what Asus have planned for this year. And I can't wait to see where this technology goes from here. Let me know what you think, are you gonna shell your cash out for a new 3D laptop, or are you on the fence with 3D still and are waiting for more info? Like and share if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, subscribe, turn on notifications if you wanna see more content like this. Check out this video here if you wanna hear more about loads of great smartphones, including one that is from Asus, and here on a YouTube recommended of its choice. The lucky dip, what are you gonna get? My name's Adam, you've been the best as always. I love you, Levy, I'll see you in the next one. Says BYT, peace out.